imagine if I wore this with a graphic tee over and a long skirt, a jean skirt. Bird. Why am I such a weirdo? <sighs> oh, that's really heavy and I'm really tired. Head southeast. What up? I am at the Savers in Walnut Creek that just opened. So this is their like members only opening and it is crowded. like these. Oh, these are fun too. But I would never wear them. Like if I'm wearing glasses, I want them to cover my face. <gasps> but there's these ones. For Leo, for sure. For my baby. All right, kids section. some pink. Ooh, that's very, very nice. Fun. I forgot to look at that. It's fun. How great is this top? I love the long pockets and then the look at this. I love this. Look at that collar and then this one. I have been wanting one hiking shoes, but I think that hiking shoes is making a comeback in fashion. Imagine this is like a maxi skirt or like baggy jeans. Hmm. It's not all the way straight. Yeah. Right. So that's how you know. Yeah. It's it's not good. It is a good imposter. Yes. I don't like this. Y'all, that was so wild. Um it was their like soft opening party. They open on Thursday and it was just like there were so many good gems for a crazy good price. It way better price points than in Dublin. How much fun did we have? So much fun. We found so many goodies. Thank you for checking your um, email because I don't. It's okay. 
Now we're gonna get tacos. Yes. <laughs> what up, party people? Hi. Let's be real. I got... Oh, how do I explain this? I thought I got a gig and I didn't. I just got the text and I was super bummed out about it. And then I even like wrote the days that I was gonna be down in LA if I got the gig. And I was like being assumptive, being like, I got the gig and I wrote it on the whiteboard and I just got the text I didn't. And then I erased the whiteboard and I wrote something great is going to happen something great is going to come. And I can give the fact that I didn't get the part, all of my energy and be bummed about it. And I did for like 10 minutes, so I was kind of quiet to myself. And now that's like out the window because new opportunities are coming. That just wasn't meant for me and that's okay. Also, it's my birthday weekend and I'm turning 33 and your girl just wants to get ratchet and down on the dance floor and possibly not pool a hammy that's a positive way to look at it shall we do a thrift haul let's go oh that's really heavy and I'm really tired let's do it I want to show you guys everything I got when I was thrifting with my girlfriend Sierra there was a calling and I felt like I really just want more art in our home and so I decided why not just stoop by my local savers in Dublin and we got this. Let's just let's just do a full haul. I got this cute little beanie for Leo Love. It has been so cold recently. She loves glitter and shimmery, and I love the um, fuzzy yarn. Not your cute little head wearing this. So very excited for this. We're gonna wash it. Everything we still have to wash, so I'm not gonna try on because I don't wanna put those cooties on me. This scarf. <sighs> So cute. How much was it? Four dollars. I really wanted to just wear, should I just wear it right now and take a shower after? I imagine like a little white tank top and then oversized denim and then this. Some cool shades. Who is she? I just really, really, really love this type of yarn. And I love the colors. I feel like you'll go with everything. And I feel like maybe I can get creative with how I want to wear it too. So this is gonna go in the wash as well. This is probably one of my favorite finds. But to be honest, I haven't checked my bag since. It's gonna be a nice little refresher. Cause I don't ever wear the clothes until I wash it. When I know I'm gonna shoot like a thrift haul, I will keep it in that bag until it's time. Accessories are like how you can level up any outfit. I'm very inspired by Benny Luce and B. Jones, and I just love how they use pieces that they have in a very unexpected way, whether it's like layering belts, accessories, like accessories will change the outfit, and I really want to play around with like doing that more. It's very Y2K. It reminds me of Beyonce in Y2K era. Literally could be cover my nipples. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this, but you'll see. I love the hardware on this belt. That's when you know it's a really good belt. And also this is, I think, leather. Ooh, made in España. I specifically love the buckle of the belt. Um, it's a not a traditional belt buckle. It's a statement buckle. And I feel like when you are shopping and you find things that there's just a little something about it that's different, whether it's the way that it's crafted, the way it's shaped, the material, once again, the texture. That is how every outfit's gonna look because every piece has something a little bit special for it to not be basic. So when you accumulate all these beautiful little gems that are all a little bit different that aren't basic, there's no way you're gonna be. No shame to anyone who is basic, but that's just not my style. I feel like the more, the better, the extra, the more extra, the better. And that's when I feel most confident is when I feel like I'm wearing something that just like makes me feel like a bad bitch. And I feel like everybody should have clothes that make them feel like a bad bitch. You know, you know? And I wanna start playing with belts more and accessorizing more. So that's why I got this and that. So I know that these are coming back very Y2K, whatever, but 
I specifically like that they're so dark at the top, they're actually gonna block the sun. But I also like this shape and that it's still kind of dark, but it's like an ombre. I also feel like it's like my version of a Y2K where I feel comfortable. It's not what everybody else is wearing, but it's like, there's just a little something that's different. It covers the eyes, so if I'm like, don't wanna see anyone, it does the job of the sunglasses, you know? Like I've always wanted the sunglasses back in the day that I used to have when I was like mm, a teen, not even a teen, like a preteen where, you know, it was like the baby blue, like Justin Timberlake used to have them and they were very like see-through. It didn't serve the purpose of blocking out the sun rays. And I don't have time for that because I am getting older and I need to block it out. And when I'm taking photos, like if my eye is like, like that, you can't even tell because they're blocked gotta think about these things guys it's all about the photo op not really but kind of I got these for Miss Leo love this is what I'm saying like see this wouldn't cover my eyes let's just take this off is it flattering on my face no they're too thin but for a photo I got these originally for my daughter Leo love because I know that she wants to feel like a bad bitch like me and she is I got these for you Put them on, girl. Put them on. Oh, she looks so cute. Hey, girl. Oh, do a twirl. Ooh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> now lower your sunglasses and give me a wink. Oh, oh snap. Where are your snacks? In your pocket. <laughs> I got this purse. Got it in the kids section. I love the glitter at the top. And the fact that this is very, very durable. Pack a lot of things in the spring and the summer. Hello. Oh, 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 what? Clearly, I'm very into green these days. I got this for myself, but then also so Leo can use it too, because she's obsessed with shopping and she's a girly girl. This one's so cute. Next up, I got a frame. I won't need more photos in this home. Don't worry, a home tour will happen. We'll be doing more like redecorating and all that good stuff. I will share you in on that, but this is a sturdy frame and that's what I want. Top. To stay comfy. I don't know if I'm gonna get it for myself or I'm gonna give it to Stefano because every sweater that I give him, he's in the other room, so I know it's this one. Every sweater that I give him, there's a stain on it every single one so maybe i won't give this to him because he's a messy hoe steph are you listening he's acting like he's not but he's really listening i want to at least get a few good runs in this and then i'll hand it off to him stay comfy oh this skirt for five dollars i love the mid-century modern type of style. You guys know I'm not the wordsmith and I don't know the trends or the eras, but I'm thinking, I'm gonna guess that this is like very, uh, it's like Y2K skirt, but in the print is inspo from mid-century modern days. And the brand is called Notations, notations. This is how I really get excited. Honestly, I was like kind of bummed out before and I was like, oh, I could easily just like not shoot this and just postpone the video for another day. No, I'm not gonna let this get me down because I've seen many successful people say that when they didn't get the part, every no is just a redirection for something more beautiful and a better fit and more amazing for you. So. Universe, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Look how cute this is. <gasps> I can't really see. I should get a stool. I'll use the kid's stool. I think I need a bigger stool. Hmm. What else? I said I'm not gonna wear the clothes. I'm just gonna take a shower after. It's fine. <gasps> I forgot about this shirt. How cute is this? $5. I don't know the brand. So soft, brown zebra print. Like, are you kidding? Are you, are you kidding me? It's a turtleneck. 
so then I can layer it. Imagine if I wore this with a graphic tee over and a long skirt, a jean skirt. Not saying that would look dope, but I think it would look. Or you can go like full art teacher and just like wear a necklace over it with some wide legged or some baggy jeans. Or just go print after print after print, like my zebra print shoes. I got this cute little sweater for Miss Leo Love. For Leo Love. It was $9, but it's suede and handmade. There is no tag on it. Imagine with like little bell bottoms, hair in her like quadrant space buns. Not two, but four. So cute. Love. I also got this purse that is Bajali, Bajalina, Bagalini. I love that it has so many compartments. It has a little coin purse in it. Um, they just don't make bags like this anymore. Or I just don't really shop for bags unless it's, I'm shopping secondhand. So it has that pocket, pocket over here, and then a pocket over here with so many compartments. And then like, do you want to put your pen there? Sure. Another compartment here. And on the other side. And more! I didn't even realize that there were like Not only that, but it looks really cool. I was planning on wearing it as just like an everyday side bag. Very like urban, cool, kawaii, little Korean superstar, like in the city energy. Tighten it a bit, right under the boob. And it's in great condition, like there aren't any snags. When I wanna wear like a graphic tee and I'm going for like a mask, masculine look. I feel like this is just perfect. Like whenever I just want to wear like my cargo pants, let's say like a little, if I want to do sexy, I could do like a little tank top and this, or if I want to wear like a long graphic tee, like my Tupac graphic tee with my trousers. And then this, like, let's rip this tag off because we don't need it, but $8 for so many possibilities in all of these pockets. Perfect traveling bag, especially like I fe feel like I can put so many lollipops in one pocket within one of these pockets for when my kids are acting buck wild and I need to bribe them. You know, it's like the perfect mom bag. I love it. I don't even think I want to take it off. I don't want to take it off. It's so cool. Mmm. 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 Bum. Bum. I'm so, I'm so, I'm such an interesting bird. But we're accepting weirdos for who they are. Okay, anyways, I have been wanting to hike. I want to be more outdoorsy. I wasn't raised to be outdoorsy. The most outdoorsy I was, was playing soccer and going to soccer tournaments and literally getting allergy attacks, being on the soccer field because I'm allergic to grass. I found some hiking boots. Now you wonder like, Jamie, these aren't really fashionable. Little or not. Well, they kind of are. If you look at all the New York girlies or, um, yeah, that's pretty much my only reference. Instagram, they're just so cool and just have like the sleek back bun, but then wear like the cargo vest and this and like baggy jeans. Somehow they make it work. So I'm gonna use these, it's a twofer, to be really, really try to be somewhat cool and like, be a little cool Filipino urban princess and so I can go hiking. Never used. Never used. How great is that? Thank you, Savers. And the price was like 10 bucks. You know how everyone was wearing like New Balances and now they're wearing Sambas and now they're wearing Solomons. I didn't know what Solomon was, but I looked it up and now I understand and now I want those tennis shoes. From my interpretation, which is usually like, what is that? It's like um, bringing the outdoorsy girl to the streets. That's all I have. What really tied me in was obviously the colors because I want to wear more neutral colors. I feel like my heart feels like it needs more like neutral, warm, orange, black, brown. Um, anyways, 
the shoelaces. I feel like if you cover this part, it could look really cool. But who knows, maybe I'll just try and wear them as hiker boots with like a normal outfit. And then I'll just rock it with confidence because confidence is key. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Imagine this and this. You see where I'm going with it? Maybe, maybe not. All right, so this is a very safe, safe outfit that I'm comfortable in, but I wanted to show you how I would style the purse. Let's use this stool again. <laughs> and my baggy denim and the shoes. For anyone who's unsure about the shoes, I just feel like it looks, I don't know. I'm always, I'm always up for a challenge. And then if we wanna add more layers, we can. This and then the outdoorsy texture. Fun little accessory that you could put so much in there. And then a nice little purse. <laughs> I dig it. It's like a little bit more of a chill look. I got this sweater for Steph. It's actually a very beautiful mustard sweater. You know what? Let's try it on. It's from Thread and Supply. I don't know what that is, but it has like a yummy fray at the bottom. And, okay, now imagine this, all buttoned up. I'm ready for my mascara. Now, with this. Okay, okay. What do we think? What do we think? She's cool, she's cool, she's cool. And then you add these shoes in the mix. I'll show you a fit. I'll style one and I'll show you that we can make this work. Okay, another reason why I like this mustard, yummy corduroy shacket is because it's like a linen pocket and corduroy. The, the mix of textures and see how it's like linen there, but corduroy there. I feel like it's those little details that really make you your outfit stand out. Like you can look really, really tailored or wear like a monochrome look, but when you're wearing pieces where there's just a little something that really, really pops, I feel like that's what makes you look a little bit more fashionable than if you were just to wear like a basic one, you know? Okay, now imagine, just go no, if you wore this underneath this and layered it, I've never liked shopping for in the um, shirt section, the graphic tee section, to find vintage gems. Until I went there once, right after I dropped off Leo, right when they opened, and I found some money vintage tees. I like having big tees for when I just feel like I want to not have to put it an outfit together. Be comfy, not have to worry about like feeling bloated or anything like that and then just accessorize and go from there. So now whenever I go to Savers early in the morning at like 10 a.m., that's when I always just do a quick swoop for all. I quickly check out all the graphic tees and I really liked this one. It's bright, it's a little bit kooky, but I think it'd be fun for summer. Like I don't know what this is. It says meat puppets and then I don't know who designed this, but it reminds me a lot of like Rugrats. I also got this other graphic tee. I don't really care who these brands are. I just care about if I like it, if I'll wear it, and if the material is comfy. I will only wear this to bed. And I'll only wear it when I'm dropping the kids off to school. Been wanting another big camo shirt. It's by Scandia Woods. $3 tank top. It's quite large, but I like it large. I also got this graphic tee that says designated driver, and it's a horse driving the cowboy. 
This is another really, really good Momo. <laughs> yeah, I just really, really like this. I just need more Momos. I'm an idiot and I did a closet sale and sold a bunch of my Momos thinking that I'd be able to get more Momos and I just haven't, so. Wait, it just fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. Wait, just snag that off. And I'd probably do some like sparkly eyes, just cause. And now imagine like a little jean jacket to tone it down a little bit. Let me get a jean jacket, also vintage. Shoes in this purse, are you kidding me? Oh, such a cute outfit. Why do I have the tag on this? <laughs> so fun. Okay, this is a really good outfit. Okay, I'm done. All right, guys, hope you liked this video. Someone's calling me. Peace out. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Peace, bye.